Wag on everybody, Nikita here, and do I have a video for you today. So today's video is a new series that I will be doing that involves two of my favorite things. I'm going to give you 30 seconds to guess. Well, five seconds actually. If you guess books, books, you guess right. If you guess wine, there you go. So today we have a sip and read, guys. I love wine and I love reading. And I am trying to get more mature in wine drinking. I am a Moscato girl. <laughs> I feel like everybody drinks Moscato. It's sweet. It's flavorful. The notes are very simple. But, you know, they have fruity and sweet flavors. I am trying to venture out into the wine world. And why not share it with you guys? So today, I will be doing a sip and read. Going over the book I read last month, which is Atomic Habits while i try well i did open this one last night hence this little man here but um i'll definitely be sharing the notes um what it can be paired with and all of that but before we go any further let's go <laughs> so i have my stemless wine glass right here and we're not gonna do too much this should be enough to get us through the video and i already had a drink of wine um, let me just swirl a very rich red wine i am a white wine girl um but i'm trying to venture out as i said so that's the color what are the notes i'm picking up the notes are very woodsy very strong um let me read what the thing says right it says fruity with the aroma of cherries and light touch of cup cacao elegant with good body the perfect match for pasta cheese and grilled chicken i'm actually cooking pasta tonight so that should be good um i honestly didn't smell the cherries i was getting a woodsy vibe but it does say um fruity with the aroma of cherries and a light touch of cacao i guess i could smell the cacao yeah it's like a strong dark chocolate scent but it's definitely a rich red. You can see that movement, that color. Guys, I'm no wine connoisseur. I am just learning and I'm trying to teach you guys while I learn. Okay, so that's that. Let me take a sip and let's get on to our sip and read. I do taste the, um, the chocolate. Cacao. Atomic Habits is a book by James Clare and it's basically about setting up systems in our life that help us to reach our optimum potential. I feel like one of the things early out that grabbed me to this book was this page. Um, This is like page 18 of the book and there are two things I want to quickly read. It says success is the product of daily habits not a once in a lifetime transformation and many of us are we are goal oriented you know we've set goals so for this year for this month for this week i want to do xyz that's goal driven but what this book focuses on is not about setting up a habit or putting something in place to reach a particular goal but having systems in place that you are consistently meeting the mark so you know for like a goal like say you want to fit into a dress for an event your goal in that period is to probably eat less work out daily so that when that time comes you'll be able to fit into that dress atomic habits and what james claire is in encouraging us to do is not only to fit into that dress but to have a system in place that even when you have fit into that dress and that event has come and gone you are still eating clean you're still working out you're still moving towards things consistently so one of the gems i picked up from this book it says habits are compound interests of self-improvement so they either compare compound for or against you meaning that if you work out today for 10 minutes then tomorrow your body is already used to that 10 minutes probably you can do 15 minutes or the next day you do 20 minutes compound they add up over time they help you to do better however if it is that you are not doing the things that you need to do that also compounds so say today you decide to lie on the the bed all day and watch tv tomorrow 
you are more than likely prone to lie on the bed all day and watch TV. Next week, you'd probably be lying on the bed and watching TV all day because you're already in that rhythm. You're already used to spending your time doing that. So one of the major points, um, the major points that James Clare spoke about is that habits are compound interests. He heavily um, encouraged persons to ditch goal. Uh, ditch goals and focus on systems because goals are result focus while systems are process focus so if it is that you fix the system that you have you will consistently be hitting goals whereas if you only focus on goals once it is that you hit that goal the chance of you keeping up that momentum is a little less because i am where i want to be so i'm going to take a break you know so he goes on to say, goals are good for setting directions, but system are best for making progress. Um, and I gave an example of that. And he also says, don't be stuck on one version of yourself. I think this is one of the major things that I appreciated from this book. Sometimes we put our identity in one aspect of who we are and wine break. And an example he shared in the book is, for example, suppose you are a high school, college athlete, your identity is to be an athlete. You get up every day, you train, that is your identity. If God forbid something happens to you and you are no longer able to compete or to participate in that sport, that is your identity. That's who you are. That's who you've been year over year. So it's hard for you to find yourself. So he was stressing the point, don't be so caught up in one version of yourself because if you are so stuck on, I am a dancer and God forbid you are no longer able to dance, you literally will have a crisis. Like, who am I? Both is about evolving and about trying new things and learning new things. So if you are caught up on one version of who you are, you won't allow yourself to truly experience all that you are capable of doing because you know you have this one idea you have this one box and you push your head in it and you're not looking left or right because guess what you know that box you're yeah so james clary is saying it's okay to try something else it's okay to give another version of yourself a try this is why you can't get too attached to one version of your identity. Progress requires unlearning. Becoming the best version of yourself requires you to continuously edit your beliefs and upgrade and expand your identity. So that basically goes without any kind of explanation. In order to get where you want to go, you have to be willing to let go of what you think you know and learn new things, experience new things, try new things. And if it is that we are caught up on one version of ourselves, I am a dancer, I am a singer, then you won't get the opportunity to experience a whole other version, whole other experiences outside of that framework that you are stuck to. Mind break. <laughs> oh, this is a good one and this is on page 190 i keep sharing the pages hope that helps it says our preference for instant gratification reveals an important truth about success because of how we are wired most people will spend all the days chasing quick hints of satisfaction the road less traveled is the road of delayed gratification basically all the things that are worth doing you don't see the results like working out you don't see the results the first day you go to the gym having money you don't become rich the first day you save five dollars um growing your hair like if these are things that you want to do you don't see lens the first time you deep condition your hair these things take time it takes time it takes f it takes time it takes effort it takes discipline Growing your hair, working out, saving your money, taking care of your skin, um, drinking water, whatever it is, it takes time and effort. And you don't see the results just as you start. People are so, going to be 
trying to do things that have far-reaching implications but at the end of the day you need to decide you want to live big now or later like what is it that is most important to you like do you want to live it up now and then later you're about to battle that's not my goal so delayed gratification it's hard up but it pays off in the long run Sim just like how um habits just like oh similarly <laughs> to how habits pay off long term delayed gratification that's what it does it's a long term it's a dividend like not even dividend dividend you get short term but it pays off in the long run atomic habits is a great weed if it is that you are at the place where you are trying to step up and really take account for the things that you want to do and take account for your life this is a good read to um kick start that process or if you're already in that process it's a book that i would recommend i already have a few people in mind that i want to encourage to read this book um i would definitely read another james claire book for the next couple of months though i want to focus on black authors for the summer months i am already reading talking to strangers by my love malcolm gladwell like i really love him i really love his books his mother is jamaican i'm jamaican <laughs> But yes, um, I want to focus on black authors. Toni Morrison is on my... It relates to my wine. Let me show you one more time. I want... It's Frontera, I think. And it's a Merlot. As I told you guys, I am a white wine person. I... How do I feel about this wine? Firstly... When you see how much matured, I'm basically drinking it off. As I said, once you get over the fact that it's not super sweet, I had it with pasta just now because I had my dinner and I enjoyed it. So it's definitely something I would try again. Um, it's recommended for pasta and cheesy dishes. As I said, once you get over the fact that this is not a sweet wine, it's it's very enjoyable. Like, I actually enjoy this Merlot. I'll definitely try another Merlot at some point. Um, so it's, it's a definitely would give a second try. As to the book, highly, highly, highly recommend. If it is that you have read this book, let me see your recommendations down below. Another book that I would recommend if you like Atomic Habits is Year of Yes. That's by Shonda Rhimes. And Year of Yes is basically about saying yes to the things that will propel you forward. So I think that's a good read after Atomic Habits. Thank you guys so much for sticking with me today. Let me know if you like this new series. I'm so excited to do my sip and read. Um, I really do hope you enjoy this video and I'll see you guys in my next one. Be sure to like, comment, share and subscribe. What good?